OK, we'll get started now. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for attending our webinar to learn about the new features in ODT Service 13. During the presentation, if you have a question, I invite you to type it into the question pane in your webinar window, and we'll try to answer those at the end of the presentation. My name is Kyle. I'm part of the quality assurance team here at Open Door. I've been working with uh, Open Door and ODT Service for over four years now, and I'm going to be walking you through some of our new features. So our agenda for today, uh, we're going to be demonstrating our return merchandise authorization that we added to our warranties functionality, followed by service notification emails. After that will be a demonstration of our new remote signature capture using DocuSign, as well as a demonstration of our support for Topaz signature pads. After that, I'll give a quick overview of some additional features that are part of this update, as well as a roadmap for the next release. And at the end of the presentation, if you have any questions, we'll try to answer those. So the first feature for today is Return Merchandise Authorization, or RMA. This is a feature that we added to our warranties functionality that was added in a previous update. And this allows you to automatically create an RMA document after processing a service unit that has a warranty. Uh, the warranty amount will be billed to the vendor, and from there you can either approve the amount or disallow certain amounts. And if amounts are disapproved, you can then bill those back to the customer as you need to. So here we are in Business Central. If I open up our service ticket, and I've already created a service ticket here with a warranty that has been enabled, as you can see if this checkbox here. If I go and create our sales invoice, we'll open that up and post. And you can see right here, we have a message saying that our return merchandise authorization has been created. So here in the, so there is an option for this on the rule center, but there's also a shortcut here in the service ticket. So I will select that. And here we are in our RMA document. And if we scroll down here, you can see we have a line for the warranty amount that was specified earlier. Now, if this is, everything looks good here, you can just post the document and that's it. But let's say, for example, you're reviewing this document and you decide, well, no, I think only, let's say 60 should be allowed for this warranty claim. Change your amount, read 60. And when we select post, and you can see we have another message here that a sales invoice has been automatically created for the extra amount that we decided was not allowed. We go back to our RMA. You can see the shortcut here for disallowed warranty claim, which open our invoice. See the invoice has been made for our disallowed amount. And you can see it has been automatically made for our previous customers so we can bill it back to them. All right, our next feature to demonstrate is going to be service notification emails. So this feature allows you to create and customize email notifications that can be sent out to technicians or customers. Uh, many of the, them can be automa automated for tasks such as sending technicians a to-do list of tasks or when a new planned maintenance tick has been created. Uh, there is also an option to send links to customers directly to the service ticket, which will be the one that I demonstrate today. So here we are back in Business Central. I just open up our search here. Here in our template list, you can see I've already made a couple. If I open up this one here, this is the template I created for our direct link. Of course, we have a couple other other types. So upcoming, for example, when a planned maintenance ticket is created, overdue, if a task is to do or is late. So of course you can change that. Then notice we have a couple extra fields related to the email. We have a subject line, which can be changed, customized as you wish, as well as a message and a footer. 
I have typed a simple message here for our demonstration, but of course you can change this to be whatever you would like, like it to be. So with that done, if I go into our service ticket, and you can see up here in our header, there's an option for send service ticket link. If I click that, it brings up our little email screen here. And as you can see, it has been automatically populated with the message and footer that we specified earlier. So everything looks good, we can send. All right, if I go into our, my emails here, you can see that I have received our notification. The contents of it matches, of course, what we specified earlier. You can see there is a link here that links directly to the service ticket we were on before. And it also includes a PDF version of the ticket if that happens to work better. Now, of course, this is the email for direct notifications, but there are other notifications as well that will function similarly. All right, the next feature to demonstrate today will be remote signature captures using DocuSign. This, as the name describes, allows you to send an email to your customer to receive their sig signature remotely using the DocuSign service. So if I go into the Business Central here, and I open up our ticket, and you can see there's an option here labeled Send for Signing. If I click on that, there we are, e-signature sent successfully. If I go back into my emails, you can see that I have received a email from DocuSign. I go and use that link. And you can see we are now in DocuSign with our service ticket. And once we're done reviewing, we can simply go ahead and sign that as we need to. Uh, once this is signed and has been received back, it will be stored in Business Central so you can review the signature later. All right. And the last feature to demonstrate for today is the addition of support for Topaz signature pads. So similar to the picture that is on display here, uh, if you have one of these physical signature pads connected, uh, you can have someone write on these signature pads to capture signatures that way instead we have to do it digitally when signing service documents. So here we are in Business Central. If I go all the way down to the bottom here for our document signatures, you can see we have an option here for signature capture Topaz. Now, if I click this, it looks very similar to our normal signature capture. Uh, on my desk in front of me, I have a signature pad like the one in the picture. And if I start to write on it, you can see that the signature that I have written down has now been captured by Business Central. So if that looks good, we can accept and sign. And now we have signed our service document. So just another way to make getting signatures a little more easy. All right, well, that's all the features uh, to demonstrate for you today. But of course, there are a couple more additions in this update. Uh, we've added a new report for uh, listing all service tickets that are ready for processing and invoicing. Uh, we've added support for multiple pictures to individual service ticket lines. And we have made some improvements to our visual resource scheduler to help improve load performance. So it loads a little bit faster now. Uh, coming in future updates, we plan to add some improvements to our approval workflows. We would also like to add the addition of service role centers and the ability to archive service data when you're archiving your jobs. Please feel free to email us at hi at opendoorerp.com and we will reply with an answer to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you very much everyone for attending our webinar and I hope you have a great day.